Hey, 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 Stubby here, and we are back on another episode of FTB Skies. So, in between episodes, I did a lot. I actually recorded an episode and messing with my sound settings, trying to improve the audio quality on this new computer, tweaking all the settings. I really messed it up, so I, I couldn't salvage it. I, I tried. Uh, what happened was I did set up the storage area, so I wanted to go through that. I got storage drawers set up, and I used the pipes mod to run pipes and pipe export out of here straight across and we have the simple compacting drawers the regular drawers void upgraded to the drawer controller and let's look at at functional storage uh, they're really really simple the drawers easy just like the uh, original storage drawers mod it all just goes together it has a compacting drawer that's virtually the same but they have the simple one which is just a one to one compaction very nice uh, let's see, then we did the drawer controller right there, just cords. We had the linking tool, the locking tool, and the void upgrade. Now, the void upgrade we did by getting the auxiliary cactus from Thermal, which was a cactus which we were getting from this uh, sifting, and four nuggets. And that immediately converted to a void upgrade. No obsidian needed. Then we got over here and started setting up Batania. So in order to get into Batania, you need to first start with Floral Fertilizer. Eh, Batania. The Floral Fertilizer, right here, is just four dyes and a bone meal. And you get some flowers out of it, some of the Batania's mystical flowers. And once I got enough of those, I was able to start making these Endo Flames, which used uh, three of the colors of petals. I made the Petal Apothecary, which was mostly just stone and a petal. Uh, mana pool, mana spreader, open crate. And so what I have here is if I put uh, coal into here, it'll drop one on the pressure plate. When one of these flowers picks it up, it'll then drop another thanks to this redstone lock. Uh, now when there is all being in use, it'll sit there, but it won't despawn because these burn faster than the despawn timer. So it just keeps it going, keeps it efficient, fills you up. Then we have the pure daisy, which was made with white petals. And what I did is I put logs underneath here and stone underneath here so I can just use my wand and throw a stack on top. The, the logs become uh, living wood and the stone becomes living rock. Whatever's on top makes it nice, beautiful, and easy. And I got a mineral sapling ready to go for my integrated dynamics plan. So up here, and I'm still working on the design, so we gotta figure that one out. But I think of going with kind of a castle-ish vibe where we're going to have this be kind of courtyard-ish entryway. Uh, we're going to do like a bridge over the pond, that kind of stuff, widen it out. And we're going to have this being the main level. And you'll go up here to the entrance of the castle. And that should give me a lot of room to build out. Uh, so far, I've set up a nice, decent area. Oh, that's going to look good. Uh, we did have a wandering trader stop by. Uh, you can kind of see him over there. Oh, he finally left. And with him, I was able to use a lot of the emeralds that we got. I ended up grabbing like three elytras, elytras just in case. Uh, and I can't remember. I think I grabbed a blue ice. And I feel like there was one other thing I grabbed. I, yeah, something. He gave me something. Somewhere, something, sometime. Oh, I, I grabbed a Pathfinder's Quill and a couple other saplings. That's what it was. Yay! That is the recap, and I am really sorry that I kind of skimmed over it. We went really into depth about how I was doing the, the piping and the, the drawers. I was trying to make it explanatory. So if you have any questions about anything I went over, please let me know. And without further ado, let's get into today's episode. All right. So I have expanded out for you. Expanded my dirt area up there, you can kind of see it on the map. I'm going to do some work up there, but this bad boy grew, so we'll get our prizes. Oh, you like that, are you? Boom. All right. And we'll plant a couple more of you. One there, one there. Nope, not there. Good spot. All right. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get integrated going. I do want to get into uh, the integrated power, integrated item transfers, that kind of stuff. Um, and we're gonna come back to that. So let's look at the things that I'm trying to accomplish. All right, first things we're gonna do is I want to get some create going, and I've expanded up there. I still got to do the uh, the framework. It's it's really rough. It's a floating dirt platform, but that'll give me room to extend some of my create power down here underneath. And we're gonna get uh, a farm. Let's get you know some tree automation up there. Uh, now we could also use the pedestals mod. I I kind of I'm I'm undecided because pedestals is free. Maybe uh maybe we'll do pedestals. Ooh, that could actually be more fun because we have. As you can do, uh, as I was looking, you can do choppers. We can up, we can chop down the trees. Uh, we can harvest the plants. We can replant stuff. We can fertilize it, which uh, you know we can use bone meal in there. Uh, we can use magnets to pick it up, or we can use item collectors. I actually, uh, you know, none of this is overly uh, crazy. I think that's the hardest one. We'll need to get those two, which I have an easy way to get. So let's let's do pedestals. That, that could be more fun. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some pedestal stuff crafted up um, and I get a few other things made for us so we can just start having supplies and I think we'll just start plotting out areas up there and yeah, cause I mean, I think even though this is kind of a create intro, like you start with create, so much create, let's, let's, let's be different. Let's, let's try to use some other stuff. So we're gonna use pedestals for as much as we can. Looking at it, we can do uh, item importing, we can break blocks, magnets, place blocks. What else we got? Quarrying, uh, hive harvesting, voiding, recycling, fluid conversion, dropper. Oh yeah, see look at this, shearing. We can share the sheep, the cows, breed our, oh dude. Oh, we're gonna have some, let's do that. So what we can do then is we can come up with a concept of, because I don't know where my space commitments are going to be at the moment, but we can expand the tops of both of these. And we'll go that and there. Okay, so because I got trees and animals. I'm gonna go ahead and plot this out while I'm crafting the stuff and we'll just kinda get a way for it. And we're gonna use pedestals, man. That is, oh, I'm excited, let's do it. All right, so we have like 16 pedestals. I don't really know how much I need, I just kinda winged it. Uh, we're gonna wanna go ahead and make this market, uh, which I should need two planks for. That should be good to go. We just took a red wool, which I did bone mealing poppy to get extra poppies, cause that's a thing in here. And then I turn that into the die. So we'll just throw you right here for now. You're going to definitely move. Cut boom. Let's see. So we're going to need potatoes, carrots, and what else is in here that I might want? Uh, saplings. Nice. And, uh, oh. I don't see the list of the other common tree types. Regardless of their spacing conditions. Wow, that's kind of cool. How do you make that? Fertilizer. Small flowers, small flowers, blue. Oh, okay, interesting. Very nice. Very nice. So, we're going to want those. So, I'll need a couple of. I don't know, but I think I have a handful left. Yep. After my wandering trader visit. So, we'll go with one. Well, that's very rude of you to run out like that. Three. Four. And let's see, what else? What else? Mm -hmm. We'll just hold off for now, honestly. No reason to rush and spend on my precious emeralds. And we'll just have to go plant these. I should have a hoe. Oh, show. Now we'll do carrot, carrot, get him, get him. And do I have any of the old meal? I don't have to over there like a ding 
unknown. Do 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 do. Bone meal. start looking at things we are going to need for the pedestals one. So we're going to want to get our blank temp upgrade bases, which is just going to be gold ingots, which I should have. I should have swore I did gold. Oh, okay. Got nervous. Uh, let's go with Might as well, since I have 16 pedestals. All right, and we're going to want to do a tree setup. So the tree setup is going to need a chopper upgrade, so we'll need an iron axe. Boom. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get all the rest of these made if you kind of just get an idea. We just need to make a few items around for them. So I'm going to get the ones we may need, and then we're going to go up and we'll figure this all out. Dun, dun, dun. And I think I got a good start on this. I have a rough plan. We're going to see if it works. I don't know. Uh, but I don't remember the range on these. So I do have to come over here and just kind of figure out the range. So I figured the easiest thing to do would be to come to the middle of this platform, which should be one, two, three, four. I think it's that one. Put in the fertilizer upgrade. And we're going to need a work area or work locations card at pedestals. So that is going to be work area, which is going to be the work tool and sticks. Got a six on me. I do. And I believe it. Could go with gotta love that shift right click. I need a fast way back up there right now. This is crazy. Okay, so work area. I don't know the range of this. Right click in here to clear selection. Should be able to see the range of it. Not how I want it to be interesting. I will 
not do it how I want, but I can use that to my advantage, it looks like. I can put it in the middle and have that feeding both sides. So I'll do essentially a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. So we can do a seven by seven. Okay. I think we have this figured out. We're going to be good. Just need to get that going, and we will get all this built. All right, we are back, uh, kind of in a roundabout way. Had to set these up in a way that their uh, boundary limits would be contained close enough to each other that I, the way I wanted them to work without using multiples, so on. So I have it set up right here. We have the fertilizing, the chopping, and the planting all in a row. The planting is fed from a drawer. That drawer is fed from a item collector that's somewhere right in here. Ugh. Right there. And this item collector has piped out one side to the saplings and the rest comes down and merges with the pipe we have from our sifting. Yay! So we have it. We have our first set of wood automation, I guess. It's got, you know, some to be desired. It's a little slow. I kind of need to figure that one out, but it works and that's what's important. The next thing we want to work on is going to be Mana Steel. So Mana Steel was the whole reason we got into Batania. I need some meat. Let's go with that. Uh, Batania will take Iron Ingots and convert them into Mana Steel Ingots. And we're going to use those for the next level of sifting. Food. Alright. So over here, maybe I'm trying to sort out and clean. Yes. We'll need seven of them. Seven ingots. I'm hoping I have enough uh, mana over here. And we'll take these seven ingots, convert them into mana steel. Boom. Perfect. Look at that pretty mana steel. And we'll take four sticks per, and we will be able to change out our sticks right here. How many do we need? There's one. There's two. Is that enough? That's six. Rude. Very, very rude. All that for one. So we have our mana steel meshes. We're gonna go ahead and start trading these ones out. Just shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. Oh, nope. Shift click and shift click. Now that will give us a different. Ah! No, 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 I'm not ready, I wasn't ready. Ah! I had to run into the water. Yeah, look at that. I had to run into the water. It was crazy. Increases damage dealt by wear. Cool. Maybe we'll need that. Anyway, so now that is running, we are going to have some new items to sort out that will come from these. More specifically, thanks, Neil. Uh, we're going to have the, what is this? Man of Steel stuff. Yeah. Prismarine, that kind of stuff. So we'll just kind of look at these and see which ones start to come up. Ooh, new items. We'll just make ourselves some spots for these. So let's look at the compression. Looks like that one we'll go ahead and put in a block over here. not going to compact the way I want it to. Got it. Rude. Uh, experience token. And 
let's go ahead and start putting this stuff up. Uh, you anywhere else? And we can put, I guess we'll just keep on going down this line. We really don't have spots for anything. And let's see what else. Any other new stuff that we've got? Cinnabar. And let's see, we are waiting on just the end someone. So we got a berry pie and a blacker lotus. And we also got XP, Ink Sack, Fishing Rod, Elementopedia, Void Upgrade, and some Emeralds. So these ones were not. Cinnabar was. And we'll just kind of keep compacting things as we go. We have that done. Now let's look at the next thing I want to look into is getting into the integrated dynamics generator. So for that we're going to need to get batteries going, we're going to need to get crystallized mineral. So we need to get into this drying basin and we need to get into the squeezer. Those are the kind of ways we want to do it. We'll take the mechanical squeezer which is excuse me, similar to the squeezer we've already been using which is somewhere right there. Uh, and that is going to be the next setup we want to do uh, because I want to get into integrated dynamics. With integrated dynamics, we're going to be able to have our first steps of automated storage interaction, I guess is the way to put it. Uh, if it doesn't go into those, it'll go into obviously chess, which then we'll be able to use integrated dynamics as a singular crafting screen. So that's kind of how I want to get it played out. I want to get some a room full of chests started for now and we're gonna go there so next episode we should be getting ready with those I'm going to go ahead and set up an area of storage probably behind this wall since we have the expanded area and then we will be diving headfirst into integrated dynamics so until next time stubby out